Hello everyone. Welcome to Bit Oxygen Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about controls of Visual Basic .NET. Controls are used by the users to interact with an application in Visual Basic. Toolbox contains the controls which are used in the form design. Today we will learn about timer control. Timer is a control in Visual Basic that can be used to create applications that are timer related. For example, you can use the timer to create a clock, a stopwatch, a disk, animation and more. The timer is a hidden control at the runtime, just like the engine of the car. Timer control allows you to set a timer interval to execute and even after some interval continuously. This is very useful when you want to execute certain code after a certain interval. For example, in an animation, if we want to increase or decrease the speed with the time schedule, it can be done with the help of this control. With the timer control, we can control a programs in a millisecond, seconds, minutes, even in hours. Interval property of the timer control allows user to set in a milliseconds. Important property of the timer control are enable, interval, and name. Enable used to enable timer. Interval used to get or set the interval value between the timer ticks. Name indicates the name used in the code to identify the object. Important event of this control is tick. This event occurs when the number of milliseconds specified in the interval property has elapsed. Now, let's see how we can see the timer control in Visual Basic. I will go to toolbox window and I will take a timer control and drag it, drop it on the form. At the runtime, it does not have a visual representation and work as a component in the background. I will take also two buttons and one text box control. I will change the text property of two buttons. One button text as a start. And second button text as a stop. And also I will change the name property of the text box control as txt underscore timer and after I will double click on a timer control to write a code in a window. In a code window you can see the tick event of the timer control. In this event I will write a code. First of all I will declare a one variable dim dt as date time here date time is a data line dt equals to date time dot now txt underscore timer dot text equals to dt dot to string so now timer will start and Stop. Now I will write a code in a button by generating its click event. Timer one dot interval equals to thousand. 
timer one dot enabled equals to true. Timer one dot start. So whenever user click on the button, timer will start count. But how does the timer will know when generate the T event? So here I will set a interval property and its value as a thousand millisecond, which means after every thousand milliseconds tick event will be generated in the background. After that, I will set enable property true. Now I will double click on a stop button. Here I will write timer one dot stop. Whenever user click on this button, timer will be stopped. Let's see the output. Whenever I will click on a start button, the timer will uh, start and whenever I will click the stop button, that time timer will be stop. As you can see in the output window, the timer was displayed in a text box control. So in this way, you can see the timer control in Visual Basic .net. Hope you like this video. This was all about timer control. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also for more updates, don't forget to subscribe our channel Bit Oxygen Academy. You can also follow us on Instagram. Thank you.